What's happening? Landlord from Alabama here, back with another video. And today, man, we finna talk about TJ Vasher, the young threat coming out of Texas Tech, and you know he gonna demand his respect. Let's go. Okay, TJ Vasher. He's only 23 years old, hometown Wichita Falls, out of Texas. He's a hometown kid. I'm pretty sure, 99% sure he's a Cowboy fan. Who would want to be a Texans fan? You know what I mean? Who would want to do that? He's listed at 6'6", weighing in at 210, running a 4'5 and a 40. He was a two-time 5A All-State selection in both basketball and football from out of Ryder High School in Wichita. Tau Files Texas. He's the nephew of Nathan Vasher, the former cornerback from Chicago Bears. So you know he got football in his bloodline. He got that football DNA, which is an attribute that I really like some of the players to have. At Texas Tech in 2016, he only played one game and had to end the season, had to have a red shirt year. In 2017, he had 29 catches for 545 yards and six touchdowns. In 2018, he played nine out of 11 games, reeled in 54 catches for 687 yards and seven touchdowns. In 2019, he had 42 catches, 515 yards and six touchdowns. So you can already see the reoccurring theme is he's a big time red zone threat. He makes a lot of touchdowns for his career. He wasn't as productive as he was in the previous years down the stretch in 2020. That was the COVID year, so I'm not sure. It could be a combination of things that kind of derailed his production going down the stretch. He got out to a pretty good start for the beginning of the season. Then for some reason, it seems like his production kind of fell off a cliff. He kind of disappeared throughout later in the season. So after him not being as productive in 2020, he went undrafted and Almighty Cowboys signed him up. You know, we seen the potential in him and we gave him a chance here in Dallas. Okay, now let's talk about some of his strengths. He is a 6'6 monster, a highlight reel, a walking highlight, human highlight, you know. He's half man, half amazing, Vince Carter type vibes on a football field. He has an unlimited wingspan. He can catch the ball anywhere. He has an unlimited catch radius. If you throw the ball in his direction, he will catch it. He's looking to put you on a highlight reel, on a poster. He's catching it on your head top, no problem. So you better watch out. He's a big time threat, giving some Randy Moss, Odell Beckham type acrobatic circus catches with no problem. He's very special with that. He got spectacular catch on lock. He a former basketball player, so you know he's going up to get the rebound. He's boxing you out. So I love him in the red zone. He'll be a very big time red zone threat. He really brings a type of skill set that Dak never had in his career. We never had a big, tall, dominant type presence at wide receiver. So I would love to see him and Dak end up connecting. Kelly Moore find a way to utilize this man in some kind of special packages in the red zone or something. You got to be able to use this guy in some kind of way. He has elite size, so you know he's going to be able to catch the ball on anybody. No corner is going to walk up on him and be able to match up really so where they can make their bones at against him will be in the weakness category so some of his weaknesses he is a very very tall guy so you know they don't move as well as you probably would like unless he's a freakish athletic person but he's pretty stiff in and out of his breaks he runs pretty high and he's not the strongest guy in the world. If you have a very athletic cornerback, somebody that has decent size and decent strength, they might be able to compromise him at the line of scrimmage. It might be a long day for him trying to get off that line because he's just pretty skinny in his size and stature, but he is just a very tall guy. He had a few concentration drops with a player being so spectacular in the catching area like Odell type catches. I just don't see him being bad at catching. I don't care what the stats say. I'm pretty sure it probably was 
Texas Tech maybe getting slaughtered. He might have been mad at the coach. He might have been staying in the space. It's different reasons. The quarterback probably was terrible. It's a lot of stuff that come into play when you talk about drops. But I did see him drop a couple balls, so we got to throw that in the weakness category. I didn't see them run too many spectacular routes. He was a fade, out route, slant kind of demon in that type of aspect. They was utilizing him on some of the more simpler routes. When you got a guy that tall, that big, that fast and athletic, you can basically just throw the ball up to him. And I believe that might have been something that hindered him from learning how to do a lot of these complex route schemes and stuff of that nature. Some players are just gifted and extremely athletic and cause them to be a little bit lazy and might not go as hard as some players that have to work for it. I'm not saying this is him, but I can see sometimes he get a little lax with his techniques and stuff like that. In college, he used to being the best player or he's used to dominating the player in front of him. You can get away with being a little lax in your technique in college, but in NFL, it's a whole different monster. We gonna need you to tighten up on them details, get a little stronger, and I believe he could be a pretty decent player in the NFL. But overall, I feel like Kelly Moore should be able to get this man on the field. I don't care what we do in the red zone, just throw it up to him at least one play every two, three games. Bring a special package in for him. If he can make this team, might have to be on special teams somewhere, but I just love players like this. I feel like it's always a place for him, and I feel like Kelly should be able to utilize this guy in some type of special package. It can be done. If he can make the team, I feel like it's a place for him. It's nobody else with his type of skill set in his wide receiver room at all as a whole. But that's all I got for you today, man. Just holla at your boy, Landlord from Alabama, with the same handle on all social media. And like I say, 1K, one love, Cowboys Nation. Let's go.